Hey guys, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys four different ways to make um, squishies, and these are all without memory foam. One of them is decorating a squishy, this one here, but the other ones are made from scratch. So if you guys want to see how to make these, oh, and also I'm making, showing you guys how to make puffy paint as well. So if you guys want to see how to make these, uh, just keep on watching. We are going to start off with making puffy paint. Now I kind of screwed up on it, um, but I'm going to talk you guys through the real way to do it. So when I originally started making it, it said to put um, glue and then acrylic paint and shaving foam. And I was kind of skeptical about the shaving foam just because then it does like go down in size. And I was right, it just did not work at all. It just ended up crumbling and getting really gross. So just mix glue and um, don't mix the shaving foam and then paint and then quite a bit of paint like this much as you're seeing here and it will make a puffy paint now it's not going to be as shiny as regular puffy paint but it is definitely more of a matte kind and it seemed to work out quite well so um yeah this next i made a little strawberry from it and it was with the puff like the it was with the puffy paint that I made with shaving foam, so it ended up cracking and getting gross. But if you make it without that, then it's fine. So the first way to make a squishy is you're going to take any kind of craft foam. This was from like kind of like a yoga mat type thing that I made this from. Um, but you can stack a bunch of craft foam. It does work. And you're going to glue it all together. And I use tacky glue because it is flexible once it dries. Well, quite flexible anyways, and um, I was orig originally going to stuff this full of a bunch of stuff, but that then I ended up not. So I, I don't know what happened to the footage of me um, decorating these brown, but I decided to make two little Pop-Tarts. So this was the one I made with the DIY puffy paint, and it just turned out terrible, but the other one was fine. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you're just going to cover it the whole thing, and then I decided to take some more puffy paint and make a bunch of sprinkles all over this little pop tart, I guess it is. Um, if you want to make these even more squishy, you can add more layers of foam, you can really do whatever you want with this, but I randomly thought of this. Um, and yeah, anyways, so this next one I did a drizzle, as and as you can see, that um, white stuff did not go very well so anyways that's um just ignore what i did there and uh yeah i just keep saying the same thing over again so the next kind of squishy we're going to make is a paper squishy and i hadn't heard about these for just till recently so basically it's exactly what it sounds like you're going to decorate um any kind of like on a piece of paper, color in whatever you want. I decided to go with pizza because it's a pretty easy shape to cut um, afterwards. Whereas like if you go with like something like a donut, um, even though it's an easy shape to cut, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult when you're sealing it in, um, which you'll see after. So try to make more like, get something that has more, less like curves in it, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making sense, but anyways. Um, yeah, I decided to color it all in with Sharpie just because I thought that it would look the brightest that way, and I'm quite happy I did that. I think it turned out really nice looking. So then I decided I didn't really want to do much for the back of the squishy because it's just the back, so I colored that orange piece in the back as you can see there. And then you're going to take some clear tape and put it over top to kind of seal it. Um, I would suggest using packing tape. I just didn't have any at the time. I couldn't find any that we had, so I just covered it all in just regular I guess gift wrapping tape and then I quickly or carefully <laughs> trimmed everything out and yeah so then you're gonna take some more of the tape and you're gonna start sealing the squishy together so I put it together just like this and then I'm going to seal it so for this I quickly put a piece of tape at the top just to kind of hold it in place and then I started taping the little sides and make short little pieces of tape if that makes sense um, just so then you get all the edges done so now you're gonna take a cotton ball and you're gonna unroll it just like this and start stuffing it and I would actually suggest the stuff that you make quilts with like that fluffy stuff I don't know what it's called um, that's better for the squishy but I couldn't find any of that um, in our house I know we have some but I just couldn't find it so I just added a bunch of cotton balls into it and then I went around and sealed up the pieces that weren't quite perfectly sealed and then yeah that's all for the squishy and you're gonna want to make sure that there's some air in there 
because that's what makes it even more squishy. And this is actually was quite surprised how this turned out. It actually turned out really cool. And if you can't find, uh, if you don't want to spend money on a bunch of foam, this is a really good option for squishy. So this is what I was talking about before with the little strawberry that I covered that ended up cracking a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's what that is. And I just took a little piece of foam and made it out of that. So the next kind of squishy we're going to make is one out of makeup sponges. And as you can see there, I just glued it all together. And you're going to want to use um, tacky glue and that makes it a lot like squishier. So then you're going to put a bunch of puffy paint all over it. And this here I mixed and I dropped it as well. Um, so you're just going to cover the entire thing with puffy paint and decorate it however you want. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, so this is what I did here and this is with regular puffy paint. And then I'm going to add the like little stripes around the cake, if that makes sense, um, just here. And, and then I, um, you can use like a toothpick to help with the detail, but I just went with the tip of the puffy paint thingy. <laughs> um, I don't really think I'm making sense here, but anyways, that's what you're going to do. And then after I added little strawberries to it, which I made with the glue and paint mixture and then attached it or painted it on, I guess, with a bobby pin. And sorry, it's kind of out of focus, but um, yeah, that's basically what I did there. And then I added more detail into it with using some pink paint on the inside as well, just to make it look a little bit more like a strawberry. And then I glued on that cherry thing, strawberry thing to the top of the squishy. And I think it really completed the whole thing. And I love how this one turned out. So the last way to make squishies is to decorate your own squishies. I know it's kind of self-explanatory, but I kind of wanted to show you guys anyways. So I got these in the mail from Wish a little while ago, and I thought they were pretty ugly. So I decided I was going to redecorate the one into a s'more cookie type thing. So here I'm just mixing some paint, and then I'm just going to decorate the squishy like normal. And I do suggest taking off that little, like, whatever that string thing is, like the cell phone clip, whatever they call it anyways, I suggest taking that off because it kind of made it more difficult and it got in the way more, but I like the little other clip being on if that makes sense. Um, and then yeah, I'm just decorating it like normal. Then I went around the entire squishy and find, found places that um, I missed or just like got lighter on I guess and I fixed that up and then I went and took some white puffy paint and went around the entire thing to clean up the edges even though it was already white it just kind of helped it make a little make it look like more like marshmallow fluff and just a little bit nicer so yeah then I took off that little clip thingy and uh, decorated the rest of it and then I added a, ended up adding a chocolate strip to it and I should have waited until the white was dry because it kind of um, made it weird looking but uh, you know whatever I was trying to get it done faster so um, that's what I did for this one So that is it for all the different DIY squishies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and go check out my second channel. I have it linked in the description box below. And yeah, that's um, basically it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.